Hey there, I'm at my storage unit dropping off some things from our latest trip and our GeoPro is a 2019. We bought it in the very late fall of 2019 and used it for the first time last summer 2020 and uh, took me about that much time to figure out some issues that I wanted to deal with. I looked and looked and looked online for ideas and there just was nothing out there at the time. I think now there's more out there for GeoPros, but I wanted to share some of my storage solutions, especially now that we've had a couple of times to try them out already this season. One trouble I had was shoe storage. There's no place to put shoes. It drove me crazy. Um, so last fall, um, my husband and I, we cut out a hole from the dinette. So this is the um, rear dinette, cut a hole in it and um, created, I bought this tray, I actually had to retrofit it a little bit, um, cut off the end and overlap it so it fits in here, so it's just a regular boot tray. And we store all of our shoes in there. We put hinges on this door so we can access it from this side, although it's not really necessary. I saved the drawer that was there um, because it's actually a really nice box and I reused it to create a cover for the wheel well so that the wiring and stuff back there doesn't get jostled. And it turns out um, I put some anti-slip stuff on the top of that and then I store um, these little end tables that I made. Our uh, couch does not have built-in uh, cup holders so I made those to solve that problem and then I just have like a little storage footstool here that I store in there but um, we created shoe storage doing that and it's worked great way more useful than the drawer was for us the other thing I had trouble with was pots and pan storage we have the model with the oven which I do love I also love cooking with uh, cast iron over the fire so the way I usually cook and I didn't have a place to keep my past cast iron pots. So I did see another video, the um, turtles video, and he changed the space under here for more storage. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to see it or show it, but what I did was I not only moved that little um, like divider, I took it out and then I made a little table so that the all of the wiring and um, this is the takes the um, air for the furnace it sits on top um, there's a back to it so that my pans won't bash against the wheel well and then I screwed it into the the reinforcements that were already on the side so this um, does not move back and forth and all of my pans and everything fit right underneath it's perfect so that solution is fixed. Um, that was really frustrating because I was just constantly moving my cast iron around to get it in a new safe spot, especially for stowing for travels. You want to um, be really careful and make sure that they don't jostle around, and they don't. They're really snug in this spot. Another spot that drove me crazy was the way this under the sink storage was. It was kind of useless to me. So... Again, I, d I did see another owner that did something like this. I just built a box in. I had some leftover stuff from a house project. I made a little shelf underneath and built in a box. And I do store a sponge in here, but I can also get my hot pads and mattress matches just in case. Much more useful. And then the last one is, in our entire time of camping, we only used the microwave once. So I took it out. And this is how we are um, stowed for travel. So when we're camping, I just remove this. Um, this tote has all of our kind of stow for travel stuff. So um, yeah, just like a picture that I hang up and a few miscellaneous things. But in the spot where the microwave was, this was amazingly easy to take out. It was four different screws. So I have something figured out to deal with these. I'm going to put some decorative um, hand-forged screws in there to cover up the holes. 
But once I took out those four screws, pulled the microwave straight out, and then I just had this really nice big empty box and I finished it again with some uh, materials we're using in a house project. It took me an entire weekend to do the microwave spot. Um, I did the under the oven spot and the under the sink spot. That was one weekend. And then the shoe storage was just a morning on another weekend. So these have greatly increased um, all of our storage. I feel like everything's got a place now and it just feels so much better. So hope that helps.